Notability released one of their biggest updates in recent history in Notability version 8. So this is a huge update and it has some core features that Notability has been missing for a while. And I just want to go over them for you guys right now really quickly. So first you can see on the App Store they've released the release notes that tells you everything that's new in this update. And you can see here they've added handwriting search, multi-note, recent notes, and then they've updated the help center. So I'm going to go over all of these features and tell you exactly what this all means. So let's pull up Notability and take a look. So this is one of the notes that I've taken in the past and you can see that it's all written. I wrote all these notes. So let's test Notability's handwriting recognition feature. So first within the note, I'm just going to search for a word that I wrote. So in this case, I wrote the word reversible. It says for reversible isothermal expansion. So let's type the word reversible. There it is. So it indeed did highlight my word and recognize it. And it says I've actually written it more than once. So we can go here and see, okay, so I wrote irreversible here, reversible again, reversible, irreversible. Um, and I think that's it. So it did a very good job. You know, we've seen this feature before in apps like Good Notes, and it's even in Notes Plus, which I'll review soon. Um, and it's an amazing feature that you can finally see. Um, it can you can finally search for handwritten notes. Now I'm going to convert these handwritten annotations into text. So to do that, you take the lasso tool, um, and let me select it like this. So you just draw, draw around your handwritten text, right there. Then you click on it and you can see that there's an option up here to convert to text. So we'll click that. And I actually like the way Notability does it better than GoodNotes because you can just convert the selection right here and it changes it to text for you. On GoodNotes, you have to convert it, then copy and paste it yourself. But no, uh, Notability is just converting it right there for you. So I can get rid of that, go here, and right where I'd written before for reversible isothermal expansion, now it's in text. So that's amazing. Actually, I want to keep it in handwritten form, but that is an incredible feature. So what that also means is that if I want to search all of Notability, I can just type reversible. So you can see that it did come up, but you can also notice here that it's actually indexing 467 notes right now. Since I have so many handwritten notes, it's going to take a little bit of time for it to index all of the notes. But once they're all indexed, I'll be able to search any of my notes that have um, um, handwritten annotations for certain words. So that's an amazing feature and I can't wait until all my notes are indexed so I can do that. Now the other great feature is that Notability now lets you have two notes open at once and it lets you more easily access notes while you are in a note. So if I click on um, some random note here. Um, and I swipe to the left, now I have really easy access to some of my recent notes. And if I want to open up a recent note on the side, I can click view on left here. And now I can have two notes open at once. So you can see I can scroll between both and I can edit both as I want. But this is really nice if you have, if you want to rewrite some of your notes, you can have your old notes on the left and your new notes on the right, which is what I, I did a lot last year and you can resize the two notes and you can swipe it out of the way if you don't want that note anymore. And if you don't want just one of your recent notes to be um, on the side, you can search for one of your other notes. So if I want to look at lecture 22 in developmental psychology, I can just pull that up like that. And now I have both notes open up at the same time. So it's really cool that you can quickly access your recent notes and you can um, put any of your other notes on the side for split view. Um, and I believe this is what Notability calls multi-note. Lastly, um, one of the really neat things that they added to this update is um, a recent notes subject. So it has the, your 10 most recent notes here just for easy access. So that's great. Now, unfortunately, this Notability update which is huge, did not come with a UI refresh. I would have liked to seen some sort of change in the user interface, in the design and the overall look of Notability to kind of represent that this is a new update. Um, but we didn't get any such UI refresh. I, we, I do hope that uh, Notability will refresh the interface a little bit more in the future. 
um, because I think they, it could use a little bit of updating. Also, I would like them to add the ink to shape feature, which other Note apps have, um, but Notability doesn't have yet. And I will, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed they didn't add it in this huge update, but they did add some huge features already. So you kind of have to let it slide a little bit. So this really sets Notability, I think, above most of the other note-taking apps available right now on the App Store, well, at least as of this video, because not only does it offer such an amazing um, recording function that no other app really offers, but now that it also ha has handwriting recognition, it's at least matching some of the other apps, if not going above and beyond some of the other note-taking apps that we've seen. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully it was helpful and it kind of gave you an insight as to what the new features um, Notability and Ginger Labs is bringing to this app. If you were on the fence about buying Notability before, I think now's a really good time to buy it. I think this is a really compelling purchase now. So that's gonna wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.